the exhaust section is at the rear of the engine and it's where the gases are taken from the turbine section and transferred to the nozzle and from the basic theory of the, the jet engine we know that the thrust is dependent upon the difference in velocity between the gas exiting through the nozzle and the gas entering uh, through the uh, inlet. So there are various components of the exhaust system and uh, to look at them we maybe will consider a, a pure turbojet. Okay, so if we have an aircraft here like the, the MiG-15 and assume that the engine is, is somewhere in here in, in the aircraft. So we have the compressor, we have the combustion cam, we have the turbine and then we, let's say the turbine finishes around here. We then have to get the gases from this location out to the, to the nozzle at the end. So the various components of the exhaust section are uh, the tail cone or sometimes known as the exhaust cone, uh, the struts, the tailpipe or exhaust pipe. So this is basically the section that transfers the exhaust gases to the nozzle. So in, in, in this example we're saying it's from around here up to around here. And then we have the nozzle itself. The purpose of the struts is to to remove some of the swirl that is in the air as it comes through the turbines. And so the air is coming through the turbines, turbines are, are rotating so there is some swirl in the air and the struts try to uh, remove that uh, swirl and straighten up the air. The tailpipe uh, delivers the air then from the from the rear of the turbine to the nozzle and the purpose of the nozzle then is to well in the, in the case of a, of a turbojet is to increase the velocity of the air out the back and give us our, our thrust. So if we look at the air coming through the, the tailpipe you know at, at the edges here the air uh, will be in contact with the casing and there will be some uh, friction uh, losses. So the faster the air is traveling the greater the friction losses and this is uh, this is not good because we're lo losing energy so the, that friction will be felt, felt in, as a heat so we're losing energy due to the friction and we want all of that energy really to go out the, the nozzle. So how can we uh, reduce uh, the friction losses? Well, we can try and keep the uh, tailpipe or exhaust pipe as short as possible and try keep the diameter as large as possible. If we have a large diameter, the velocity of the gases will reduce and if we have lower uh, velocity, then the friction losses uh, will, will be less. Uh, part of the process of reducing the velocity is achieved with the tail cone. So if we look at this section here between the tail cone and the case, if we look closely at it, you'll see it has this diverging uh, shape. And we know that with a diverging nozzle, we get a decrease uh, in, in velocity and an increase in pressure. That's for subsonic flow and, and the air is subsonic uh, at this stage. So this this section here, the, the the section created here by this tail cone, that is a, a diverging uh, shape. So that's going to help decrease the the velocity of the gases. And by reducing the velocity, we get get less friction losses uh, against the casing. The exhaust cone also helps protect against uh, some of the gases getting back into the engine because in this section of the engine uh, you know there will be a bearing here 
and uh, it just helps protect uh, this part, uh, part of the engine. The struts, uh, I've already said, they help to um, take the swirl out of the air, but they can also be used uh, for other purposes. So, for example, inside the strut, there might be a pipe, uh, like there and there. Uh, and that could be an oil pipe, and that oil pipe is um, taking scavenge oil from the bearings back to the to the reservoir or or conversely uh, delivering oil from the oil pump to the to the bearings okay so so the the swear veins their primary purpose is to, to take the swirl out of the the air um sorry the struts i should say but they they also may have some capacity to have oil transfer tubes or something like that inside them also. So this is a, an image I've, uh, I've borrowed uh, from Rolls-Royce the jet engine 5th edition and here's the, the, the last stage of the turbine. There's the exhaust cone, or the tail cone, there's the struts so as the air flows over, over those it, it helps uh, remove the swirl you can see the, the diverging section uh, caused by the tail cone. Okay, see that there? That's a diverging section. So that's slowing it down. This is the tail pipe or the jet pipe. So that just takes the gases from this point up to the nozzle. And then in the nozzle, in this instance, we have um, a convergent nozzle. And we know with a convergent nozzle, uh, when we have subsonic flow, that will cause the velocity of the gases to increase. And that's what we want. We want the velocity of the air coming out here to be to be high. Uh, that jet velocity. Okay, so that's just a basic overview of the exhaust system. Uh, what I haven't included are the thrust reversers and some other little bits and pieces, which I will talk about in later videos.